Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of our trailer analysis video frame by frame. I'm Luke, and today I'll be guiding you through the just released Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker trailer. So the trailer opens with some live footage interspersed with some famous quotes and images we'll probably be seeing a lot in the game, uh, like this peace sign made with a plane. Nuclear deterrence by means of mutually assured destruction. It was an era of transient peace backed by massive military budgets. Both the United States and the Soviet Union plunged into economic turmoil, ushering in an era desperate for a new The narration world. here does a nice job establishing the tone of the world uh, at the height of the Cold War. Latin America became a pivotal key to maintaining the power balance between East and West. Yet in the midst of this struggle, one government... Now we're seeing our first in-game images. As you can see, the game will take place in 1974, which is two years after the events of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. power initiated weapons deployment in the region. Their identity and true motives remain unknown. If you notice in the background here, you can see the skull made of countries that becomes the logo for Militaire Sans Frontiers. And here's our first shot of a man who appears to be Snake, followed by some soldiers fighting on a beach. If you watch closely, it appears that they're training and could possibly be the soldiers' big boss recruits into Outer Heaven. Now if you stop it here, you can see the snake-shaped scar across the character's chest confirming that it is Naked Snake, aka Big Boss, we've been following. And we see some shots of Snake on a beach, in the Colombian jungle, uh, infiltrating a military camp. And here's the first head-on image of Snake. Uh, not only is it that, but you can also get an idea of just how detailed the game will be. Uh, it appears that Kojima is going to be pushing the PSP to the limit graphically with this game. Back to Snake, sneaking around on the rooftops of a military base. Hmm, the missing link in the Metal Gear saga. Could we perhaps be finding out just what made Snake turn his back on the world to fully realize the big boss persona? Looks like we'll be getting to use some new tools when trying to conceal our presence. This appears to be some sort of rocket balloon that should make hiding bodies much easier. If you look close, you'll see that this enemy has on some pretty impressive goggles for 1974, but even that can't help him detect a hiding snake. Some more shots of snakes slinking around, trying to stay out of sight. Uh, this is most likely a tiny glimpse of whatever Metal Gear you'll be fighting. Now Snake is sneaking on... Oh, wait, what? Another snake? Okay, there are now two snakes walking around. And here's a full-on shot of whatever the hell this thing will end up being called. It looks massive, uh, appears to be flying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Four snakes? <laughs> Alright, now if we pause it here, not only can we see that there are indeed multiple snakes running around, but they're all clothed differently. I'm guessing that these are going to be early clones of Big Boss, and that the original is the guy all the way down on the end with his shirt off. That way you can show the scar as the brand of his authenticity. The movements of the characters are all identical, as are the stances, which further extrapolates my theory that these may have been test clones that were created before Liquid, Solid, and Solidus. Now all four snakes are taking on the War Machine, even though this is early footage, it looks very polished, particularly for a PSP game. Peace Walker. They believed they were creating a paradise. A little post-title card action. Okay, the cardboard boxes are back. Nice little fan service bit, but. Wait, what's this? Another snake gets under the same box? All right, that's cool. Oh, and they run off together. All right, it's good to see Kojima hasn't lost his sense of humor. Now 
And here's an old school TV marker counting upwards to five and then an E. I guess we're supposed to take that as Kojima saying only his six games, if you include the just announced Metal Gear Solid Rising, count in the Metal Gear mythology. All right, that wraps this one up. Be sure to check GamerVision.com for more installments of Frame by Frame. Thanks for watching. Thank you.